welcome back. This week I'm in Austin, Texas, cooking with brother Chad, and we're cooking for Hot Luck Fest. And we're the only vegan chefs at an all-meat barbecue festival. It's pretty awesome. I found these amazing cabbage heads and wanted to just play around in the kitchen with it, so I decided to cook it up for our staff meal while we're prepping. And I'm just captivated by how beautiful these cabbage heads are. I got it at an Asian market up the road. I mean, they're just perfect, so I gotta cook one. So what I'm gonna do is hot box this. And I'm gonna use a couple onions. I already added one white onion, and we're gonna add another red onion, just julienne, and this is gonna go in the bottom of the pan. Now this is a recipe you can do with no oil, but I am adding oil to this. But you'll see this next step when I'm covering the cabbage with oil, you don't have to do that. I'm going to do it because I want to seal in everything, all the juices. I just want to, we're going to make some lovely steaks out of this afterwards. So the first part is going to be hot boxing it. So just onions on the bottom. I coat the oil around the cabbage and then I'm seasoning it with a dry rub barbecue mix. Um, I just bought it at the store because this is a staff meal. I'm trying to whip this together, but you can use any barbecue seasoning you like. And this one, I'm just going to coat it around. The oil helps sticking. You know, if you want to soak it in water or something or rub a little bit of agave on it, you can do that as well. The seasoning mix to totally just encase it and cook with it. So really to drive that flavor in. So unfortunately, Frankie's not with me, so you won't see her in this video. I do send my best to her. And I'll see her soon. And also, I'm shooting this on my phone. So I just wanted to get this recipe out there. So I had it. Uh, I got some local beer. This is a St. Elmo's Brew, Carl's. It's very mild. I'm just adding one can of beer and then about two cups, 16 ounces. Uh, what's that? 230 milligrams, milliliters times two. Uh, for my UK friends, if you decide to make this. And then Chad brought some fresh basil from his garden. So I'm just going to add that in. So it's literally a beer, some barbecue sauce, some fresh basil, some barbecue seasoning pop it in the oven this is on 400 degrees Cel fahrenheit so it's 200 degrees celsius and i cooked this this is after an hour so what i'm doing is just basting it again i'll pop it back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes because i want it to be super soft and and doable and cuttable sorry not doable so i'm just going to let it cool down transfer it to a pan remove all the toppings and then let it cool enough so i can slice it i'm just adding that I think I actually realized it wasn't fully cooked, so I popped it back in the oven for another 15-20 minutes because I want it super soft, but still holding the integrity. So here now, I'm just popping it on a cutting board. I'm going to reduce the barbecue beer sauce and then just start slicing steaks. And we're going to sear off these steaks, salt and pepper season them, pop them into another pan. Here's where we could also grill it. Uh, you could smoke this, would be amazing. If I wasn't in such a rush to feed everybody that was cooking, I would have probably taken the time to do some of that. But I wanted to get this video done, get this out there, because it's the technique and the, the concept, the idea. C these cabbage steaks are amazing. And just nice, thick, huge cuts. You could serve it as a side against the thing, but this, I think, is totally a main dish. Again, you're going to want to make sure that the cabbage is cool enough for you to cut and handle. And you can do these steaks ahead of time and have them all ready to go and throw them, pop them on the barbecue. I am going to put a little bit more oil in there so it saturates within, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm pan here in mine. Pop them back in the tray, and then we're going to top them with the barbecue sauce that I've reduced. And then again, I'm going to pop these back in the oven right before service to make sure they're super hot for everybody. So cover them with the sauce. Pop them in the oven another 10-15 minutes. They come out nice and crispy on top. And then I'm, this is how I'm going to serve, serve it. A little bit of sauce on top. And then we're just going to dig in. Fork and a big knife. And eating how I normally do over the cutting board. Just standing up. It, it is delicious. It's super juicy. It's super delicious. Some nice spice from that barbecue seasoning. Love it. Anyways, guys, super helpful. Super easy recipe. Enjoy it.